welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well this evening. It is Monday night. Um, I am a little hoarse, a little raspy because it's my allergy time. So if you notice some watering eyes, <coughs> some coughs, um, it's because it's my allergy time. Anytime the starts of the budding of the seasons, all that stuff floating in the air, those little fuzzy things and everything just whew, get me going. All right. I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump right into it. It's just where do I start? Let's start off with, uh, let's go down the kids section. Okay. Now, believe it or not, in the Dollar Trees that I shop in, which are pretty much Poughkeepsie, um, Kingston, uh, Newburgh. And the reason why I'm listing those off is because I did have a request from one of my subscribers that lives around here. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm assuming that they shop at the same stores I shop at. Had asked me if I would list some of the stores that I shop at. So I think those were the locations where all this stuff came from. So, and if you ever have any questions, you can always hit me up um, down below, email, text, Instagram, Facebook, however you'd like to do it. All right, so I went down the toy section and right now, all the Easter stuff is like basically, I would say probably almost over halfway wiped out right now because they're already getting Mother's Day stuff in and all kinds of other stuff, but still doing Easter basket shopping. And so I went down the toy section and these are so cute. These are little doctor kits and you're going to get five pieces, including a stethoscope, an injector, a hammer, a tweezers, and a pair of scissors. Of course, all play stuff, but so here's the one package that I found. And then I'm going to turn it around so you can see all the pieces. So this one is done in like mint green and blues. I know there's glare there. So let me bring it back a little bit. There we go. And then I found one in purple. Look at that. But it has all pink inside. And I didn't mean it like, but it has all pink inside. But what I meant was, is here's more of, you know, um, I guess you could say more boy colors. Or, and these I think are just more girl colors, in my opinion, or vice versa, to each their own. I'm just, you know, pointing out that this is more, you know, greens and blues and whites, and this is more pinks and whites. And actually, this has some black in it, too. So, these were fun. I also saw this, and I was like, this is so funny. I want to open this up just to play with it. This is a dentist kit. So, for any of those little ones that are interested in being a dentist, you get one tooth mold, one plate, one toothbrush, one tweezer, and one scissors. And when I turn it over, there are all the pieces. So if you have somebody that's looking to be a little dentist, they're all set right there. Okay, also down the kids section, I found this cute little change purse. I was like, they had this whole bin and they had all different, uh, same shape, same colors, but some differed a little from the other because it's more of like a tie-dye kind of color. But this one had so much pink on the face, I was like, I have to get that one. This was the only one that had so much pink on the face. It's done in like a, um, what, what am I trying to say? Oh, I'm just having one of those days. I'm like really zoned out. Here's your inside while well, I'm trying to think of the outside. Here's your inside, it has just a little thin lining in there so you could wipe it out. But this is like a plush, that's what I'm looking for. It feels like a plush on the front and on the back. But isn't that cute? Just a little something, something with the little ears popping up to take on, you know, if you got to run to 7-Eleven or something like that. Also down the kids section, I found, where's the other ones? Oh, wait, hold on, hold up, hold up. I found these bracelets, which I thought, this is a weird place to find it down the toy section, but maybe someone just put it there by mistake or maybe that's where they're putting this stuff now. All right, this is a set of Four bracelets. Yes, four bracelets. And this is what it looks like. You get these little beads. And this one is on like a um, a stretch thing. And then you get this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then if you go to the back, these are adjustable. Except for this one because it's elastic. How cute is that? That's adorable. I mean, not just for Easter time. It's just adorable. They also had this one here, which has these little beads on a string that's stretchable and it spells out the word love, if I can fix it properly for you. So it spells out the word love 
And then you've got this bracelet here on the back, which I always say all the time, you know, I'm no Barbie doll, but I have more than enough room to wear this if I wanted to. More than enough room. So if you're, you know, an adult and you're looking to wear one of these, you have more than enough room. You could probably, I could probably fit that around my ankle and then some. So anyways, you get two pieces, which I thought is cute. And then I know I'm just kind of focusing on Easter, but just because it's the holiday that's with us right now. But this is also great stuff for birthday party giveaways, a birthday gift. So there was that one. Then there was this one here that spells out happy. Again, this one is beaded and stretched on elastic. Where this one, I love the colors in that one. That's pretty. And then, again, it stretches out just like that other one did. Love those colors. This one here, going back to another four-piece set. This one here, look at the pineapple. So this one's a stretch one. And then you have a corded one that has the pineapple. Then this design. And then this design. I mean, to get four bracelets, even for the 125, not a bad deal. I found a couple more. Well, let's stay down the kids section. Oh, this was kind of weird. Not weird, but never seen these before. I don't even think I've ever heard of this company before. It's called Finders Keepers. Finders Keepers Candy and Toy Surprise. It says collect all nine animal toys. Where is this made? uh packaged in mexico okay so there was this one and then this one then there was this one and this one if anyone's interested in me opening one of these up let me know i'm only not doing it now I'm only not doing it now. What kind of English was that? I'm choosing it not. I'm choosing not to do it now because I have a whole slew of things to share with all of you, and I don't want to waste any time. Um, okay, so staying in the kids section, I think that was pretty much it for kids section. Easter was kind of quiet. <coughs> Easter section, well, it wasn't super super quiet. I did get a few things. Let's start off with these printed felt bunny paws. You get 10 in a package. Aren't those just cute? I just think they're adorable to put like on a door or leading into a door. If you have someone who maybe um, you could do it down your hallway so the kids think the Easter bunny came. Um, so I just think they're fun, you know, fun stuff to decorate with. Then I came across these, what are they called? Whack-a-pack balloons. Whack a pack. So you're supposed to smack the pack, wait and watch and see the surprise. Let's think about that for a second. Smack the pack, watch and wait <laughs> and see the surprise. Oh my God. Okay. So anyways, you get four in a package, but look what's, it's a no. I was like, are you kidding? It's a no me. So I want to take this out of the package. So what you're going to get is these little strings here gold strings if you want to hang them up on something and then you get these four packages you get one and you can separate them out to put them in Easter baskets but you get a little chick you get an Easter bunny you get this one that says hoppy Easter now I don't know if what's on the outside has anything to do with the inside I, I can't tell you on that I've never seen these before Oh, wait, maybe I just told a fit because it looks like on the outside of the package, it does look like, okay, so let me show you the Nomi one. There's the Nomi one, but it looks here like that might be, we're just going to have to try, aren't we? So what does it say? Smack the pack. Okay, so I'm going to just like smack it. I hope I'm putting it on my hand will work. Oh, okay, so something's happening. So I smack the pack and now I'm supposed to wait and watch. Okay. I'm going to wait and watch. We're all going to wait and watch together. And then we're going to sing anticipation. Let's see if I pull this out a little, what happens? So what happens after you wait and watch? Oh, am I supposed to do something else? Uh, see the surprise. So am, am I supposed to cut it right here? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm asking to hear somebody can yell at me. Okay, so this feels like it's super full now. So I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm just gonna assume you're supposed to cut on this dotted line. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? All right, let's just try it. If I mess it up, I have another one, right? So I'm assuming you cut it on the dotted line. Did something shoot out or something? What happens? I don't get it. <laughs> Where, okay, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Why TV? Let's try it again. What, what am I supposed to do? Does it like explode or something? Oh, there's something inside the package. I'm telling you, I'm not editing because this is real. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. All right, let's see. What? Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> Three minutes of camera time and look what I have. Oh, is that just adorable? It's a little Easter egg that you can hang up. It's done on both sides. I think that's so cute. I can hear someone going, oh my gosh, come on. Fast forward that part of the video, but I'm not going to do it because that's part of the fun. I was like clueless of what I was doing. So anyways, you just whack it, let it blow up, and then you just cut the bag open and get your treat. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Let's do some Easter decor. These pieces are pretty decently sized. Those things crack me up. Oh my gosh. All right, 11 inches by 11 inches. This is just that pressed wood, so you want to make sure you're not getting it wet. But how pretty is this? Let me just fix it a little bit. Look at that. Hop. That's what I'm going to say. It says hop. <laughs> Look at the little bunny decor there. It's got little, uh, is it, is it really glitter? Yeah, it is glitter. I, f I had to check if it was um, paper or not, but it is actual glitter. And then you have these cute little flowers. I found this one, he's a little fuzzy tail. And then I found this one. So they're basically the same, except if you look, this one has yellow and purple. And this one has blue and pink. But they both say hop. I thought those were fun. One other piece of decor, and I think this is my favorite piece of decor, and it says, every bunny, every bunny, welcome. I need to adjust these because they're kind of floating around. But they slide on the rope. Isn't that cute? This is a pretty good size, too. And then they give you another piece of string to hang it from. But this piece, not including the string, is 10 inches by 14 inches so that's a really cute decent size you could always change these up if you wanted to they do come off they're just little pieces of pressed wood as well so you could change them up make them different colors by using decoupage or something like that okay this since i just showed you something that was hanging i'm going to jump right to this this was kind of different this is a 15 by 7 no 15 excuse me 16 inches by three and a half inches, and it's a hanging shelf. It's a wall shelf. I'm gonna show you here because you have to pull it all out of the plastic, but you've got your rope right here, and then as you can see, it hangs, and then you can put on there what you want. Here's the back side of it. Now it's wrapped in plastic, so don't mind that sticker right there. Um, and then it just hangs by these four holes here. You do get a metal hanger on the rope. The rope's pretty decent size. It's not super skinny. But how fun is that? I mean, obviously, you don't want to put a lot, a lot of weight. But you know what else this would make a cute thing for? Is like a little swing for dolls or something. Um, I don't know where my brain's going with that. But a little swing or something. I think that's cute. Or a little swing outside for the birds or the squirrels. Okay. <clears throat> also found a couple candles. Oh, I got to do a big stretch over here. Oh, my goodness. I tried to make room in case Mia joined me, but she's in the other room right now. Okay, these are made, uh, who makes these guys? Do, 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 do. I'm not sure. It's that jar <laughs> that looks like this. <laughs> and here's the top. Anyways, they're uh, three ounce jars. I have one going right now, and I have the one that's called Limacello, which is like a lime. Um, it's kind of like a lime and melon kind of smell. It's really pretty. These have a great throw on them. I had somebody walk past the hallway before and they were like, what's that smell? I said, it's one of my candles. So that's what that looks like. And then I found another scent of blueberry pancakes. Oh, yum. Now I have a taste for a pancake. Blueberry pancakes. 
Um, I have candles burning in the house all the time, especially in the winter months. In the summer months, I tend to back off a little bit only because it gets just too damn hot. All right, moving on. Okay, so these were a fun find. <clears throat> I got myself some new sunglasses. Yes, I have to buy my Dollar Tree glasses because, you know, I can't afford real sunglasses. No, I'm just kidding. These are just funny. Let me just remove this sticker and then I'm going to try them on for you real quick. They had so many cool sunglasses on this really big end cap because they're already starting to push suntan lotion and all that fun stuff. So I saw these and I just had such a laugh. These are all about fun. <clears throat> and that's completely what it is. It's fun. But I thought these were just too cool. Look at these babies. I'm thinking I might have to put some color on here, some little wings. I just start thinking about the B-52s right away. Love Shack, baby, love Shack. Okay, I won't go there. I'll be good. All right, so going back. So I did pick up two pairs. I just thought they were fun. You know, for a buck 25, you lose them. It's not the end of the world. I couldn't tell you how many pairs of sunglasses are in the Pacific, the Atlantic. They're all over the place. All right, let's see where we're at time-wise. All right, I'm going to share something with you, but I want to give you a little information too. So I'm getting ready to check out in the store, and I see this end cap. And I did like a double take and I was like, it's funny because I picked up all these kid things with the stethoscopes and all that. And so I'm going through and I'm like, I pulled myself out of the um, actual checkout because I'm like, wait a minute. So I saw these stethoscopes. I actually looked these up online. Um, it's made by a company called Cardinal Health. It's a, it's a real stethoscope. They're a real company, Cardinal Health. Look them up. It's a dual head stethoscope for adults. I'm going to open this up and show you. I looked these up online. Now, first of all, let me say, if you're not familiar with the company Cardinal Health, Cardinal Health is also in partnership with um, CVS. So if Cardinal Health doesn't ring a bell, I'm sure CVS will. So I just want to share with you, stethoscopes can be pretty expensive, at least real working ones can be. First of all, you get a set of accessories. You're getting three sets of heads to go on your ears and they all screw on for different sizes. Then you're getting a little name tag that you attach to your stethoscope that says your name because a lot of times when you toss them around your neck if you don't you wing them down and if you don't have a collar or a sticker or something hanging off of it you don't know which ones are yours and then you also get a couple stickers to replace on the front now these are regular size stethoscope they are in this neon orange which i think is kind of funny here is your headset which is a standard pretty much headset okay Here's your earbuds. Again, I want to show you how they go on and off. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's just a little screw head. So they are, it's not like you're just popping on a piece of rubber or anything like that. Okay. And then here's your stethoscope. <clears throat> now, I know you guys can't hear. I actually do know how to take blood pressure with a stethoscope. Um... And I can tell you, I have no heartbeat. No, I'm kidding. These are working stethoscopes. I am um, like, wow. You know, I, I'm just like, wow. Anyways, check them out. If this is something that you use, or maybe you're in teaching school for nursing or whatever it may be. Check these out. I did get a couple pair because I was just like blown away by these. Again, um, it's cardinalhealth.com. These um, are distributed at a company from Walgreens, Illinois, which is funny because Walgreens, Illinois. Waukegan, Illinois. Anyways, I just thought I'd fill you in on a little bit like that because I don't know. This is like for a buck twenty-five even. Just passing the info along. I did get these, for those of you that are in my area, I found these at the Poughkeepsie locations. Both Poughkeepsie's locations had them. So check them out. I, know, I think 
they just got trucked the other day, so they're probably going to go really, really quick. Any questions, hit me up down below. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.